Welcome back, wise ones. Coming at you with the Epirus campaign, episode 9. We have the big battle off rip. You love to see that, right? Usually it takes you guys at least 10 to 15 minutes to see a battle. And I promise I tr will try not to talk too much as we load into this one. Nah, just kidding, guys. We are fighting a big battle today. Interestingly, all of the Roman units are on the ship. Sometimes the Cav... No, no, no. Okay, they didn't do that. It looks. I thought maybe the Cav were going to be... Um, I thought maybe the Cav were going to be on ships, it looked like, at the beginning. But they are deployed on land. <sighs> Man, okay, some levees. So one thing that we're going to try to do here is we're going to... I, it always sucks when you have kind of, you know, the garrison units that are uh, depleted, given the fact that I think we had just, uh, we kind of had just captured Neapolis, and so therefore I assumed that we had destroyed these guys. But what we're going to do here is we're going to try to use these ships to destroy the transports, because if you guys don't know, in Rome, the transports are very weak, and even just a ram from something like this will get them to sink, and if we could take out some Histadi, that would be excellent. Looks like there's going to be a lot of landing here. Uh, the Romans, depending on where they, you know, I wonder where they're going to YOLO charge their calf from. Luckily for us, we have quite a few pikemen uh, and good missile support, so we should be sitting pretty in this perspective. So I'm going to go ahead set all our skirmishers to where they need to be maybe drop the easy pikemen even just right into here um but we're gonna block off all of the major entrances here uh try to get to spots where we don't uh yeah try to block off all the major entrances and really just try to bottleneck them to use our superior cav numbers uh, to get around the flanks. One issue, I was thinking, oh man, it'd be nice that we have the slingers and stuff because we can outrange uh, the javelin units of Rome. But realistically, we all know that that's not actually how... Uh, that's not how it works in kind of Rome with the siege battles against... Uh, oh, pardon I'm Sorry, I'm yawning. That's not usually how it works in Rome against the... Uh, the computer. They're going to find a way to get their javs in close and wreak havoc on our men. All right, we're gonna go ahead. We'll drop our we'll drop our Agrianians back here again. Another unit that I'm I think can do some serious damage if uh, if used correctly in this in this uh, in this neck of the woods. So we're gonna go ahead and support them here and here. Uh, we're gonna have two we're gonna have two slingers just focused here. Just uh, maybe we'll stack one inside the other as well. And then we'll have two slingers focused here, just in case they do decide to come this way. Uh, we have plenty of cav. We'll put the general over here as well. I, th I was thinking I might need to... I probably have to use these last two pikemen to come defend down into this area. Um, just to make sure that we are managing ourselves well. Then we just got a bunch of random things. So we'll go ahead and bring our slingers. We'll bring some more slingers just in this neck of the woods. Can't hurt. Uh, the mob we'll put here, and then F it, just for right now, we'll put these 32, uh, we'll put these 32 hoplites, or hoplites, hoplites, depending on how we want to do this. Okay, we'll go ahead and hide these guys back here. Cool. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and try to micro these ships really quick, off the off-rip. Uh, let's get these guys going. If they throw their pila at us, uh, at least we expended some of their pila, but, man, please, please be able to ram... This would be a big, this would be a big victory for us off rip here to be able to take care of some of those, to take care of these units. Uh, we'll see. And then I got to, I'm going to double check over there in a sec. All right, let's see. Watch this. Oh, the pilot. Oh, the the dang it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Yes, we got one of the Histadi. You love to hear, uh, you love to see that. We'll take that. For the price of seven javelin men's lives, we were able to, uh, we were able to destroy a whole unit of Hestadi. You love to hear that. You love to hear that. But, um, you know, like, unit has uh, that I assume had to be the, uh, I assume that had to be the, the boats. And a little late to the party there, my guy. We have Levy Pikemen, so not the best comparative, um, but I'm not worried about it. This, uh, you know, pikemen are pikemen at this point, and what we need them to do is bottleneck and, you know, defend off positions here. 
There is going to be, I am maybe a little bit worried because you see that the Histadi have so many javelin pieces that they'll just be able to, uh, they'll really be able to just punch through with their missile weight, but I, I, I hope not. Also, I don't know why these guys are just like, you know, standing there. That's not usually how the uh, AI reacts. But if they want to get shot to death with the, death with the Slingers, I guess that's their prerogative. Let's go ahead. If the Agrianians are going to use their, uh, if they're going to use their stuff, might as well. Might as well make it count. Yeah, our cavalry is going to come in real handily, real handy here. Okay, and it looks like they are going to start landing some troops here. So I am gonna take these. Two, I, I am gonna take the two pikemen we have here, and make sure we uh, we can we can block off this area. Meaning that I'm also gonna give them a unit of slingers. Uh, here we go. Here's the Yolo charges. And to tell you the truth, I'm actually gonna have we're gonna move these guys over this way just so they stop firing, stop wasting their ammo on a target that's actually not meaningful those guys are going to charge there is no reason to uh yeah they're going to yolo there's really no reason i'm surprised alexander only has i'm surprised alexander only has um inspire right now uh, i would have thought he had a little bit uh better i would have anticipated a little bit better uh, uh general traits at this point because he is he is leveled up quite a bit but we're trying to get him down the uh, authority route, and I really hope we don't lose him because he's our key to uh, he's our key to Sicily, Syracuse, if you will. His mom. In real life, Pyrrhus used his son and uh, as a as a tool and just a reason to invade Sicily, uh, because he did he married one of the tyrants. I believe you say that guy's name is Agathocles, his daughter. But all right, here we go. We got our first little sniff. We got our first little sniff of Roman infantry coming our way. The Triari are going to be really difficult, of course. The Rorari aren't going to be nearly as good. The Histadi are going to cause some issues. And I, again, I really think we can. I think we can manage here. And uh, let's take our cab. Let's take our cab out this way. Might as well get them around. Get them around where they need to go, so that they're ready when we're ready. Tempted actually to back up a little bit, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna leave it. Yeah, let me know. Actually, you know what? Let me know. This is a great prompt. Uh, we've talked a lot about battles. We've talked a lot about buildings. What you're interested in history, and if you have something that's burning a hole in your in your skull, your pocket, whatever, go ahead and throw that in the comment section below. But do you have a favorite siege from the ancient world? Let's think about some of the most famous ones: the Siege of Tyre with uh, Alexander the Great, you know, the ingenuity of filling in the moat and uh, that the city had and wheeling up the, wheeling up the siege engines. Uh, you have the one, you have the Macedon, or the, the, uh, not the Macedon, the Romans in Israel uh, or ancient Judea, Judea. That's always a fascinating one. Oh man, that was a tough, those guys took a serious volley of Pila right there. But hopefully we're able to return the favor here. Missile infantry. Take it. Yeah, hopefully we're able to, to return the favor. Yeah, let's go ahead, make sure, but at the same time, I actually gonna make sure our slingers are targeting the right people at this point. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to say mine is, mine is either the siege of Syracuse during the Punic, the second Punic War, that seems really fascinating. There's really good historical fiction novel that uh, highlights the uh, Second Punic Wars. Uh, of course, I'm drawing a blank on it now when I'm trying to recommend it to people. But by Ben Kane, I believe. Yeah, by Ben Kane. He does a really good job. Um, yeah, he does a really good job. And I enjoy his work. And it the second book, I believe, uh, highlights the... Uh, highlights the Siege of Syracuse. Okay, and so here we're going to actually... Uh, we're going to try to get some more... We're going to... We're gonna okay. We have the uh, this is where the triari is, and so if this is the case, I oh man, I was I wonder I if I act fast enough, I wonder if I could sneak the cab. I wonder if we could sneak the cab in. That being said, let's go ahead and inspire our levy pikemen here. We are definitely gonna need more pikemen there. Let's go ahead and uh, make sure we're absolutely creaming these guys. Go ahead and get these guys just chilling. Let's 
go ahead and bring our Agrionians back. Actually, no, I mean, whatever they have to do to hit those guys is most important. Let's take one unit of Cav and let's actually try to get, let's actually try to get, yeah, we're gonna take two units of Cav here. We're gonna go one through, we're gonna try to get, actually, let's get these guys around the there. Around the corner here. Okay, what unit used all their ammunition? Oh, it was an Agrionian, okay. All right, let's get these guys around. I'm gonna see if we can get this, uh, we can, if we can get these jabs off the field without them causing much havoc here. Okay, these are the Agrionians that are. These Agrionians are probably gonna charge into battle. Let's go ahead. Let's get rid of these. Let's get rid of these levies really quick. Okay, we're gonna get shot up by some of the other levies. Are these guys wavering? They're wavering. Break, 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 please, so I can get my guys out of here. Okay, cool. And we're gonna get our citizen cav out. Uh, I do not want to lose many of the Agrionians, and they are in a bad position there. Okay, they're going to get reinforced. Some Rorari are coming that way. I'm not worried about it. Um, uh, let's go ahead and shoot some of these Histadi. How are our lines holding? To tell you the truth, we might as well. There's no reason not to pull another. Might as well pull our pikemen across there. Same here. Okay, cool. These guys now wide open, juicy targets in the back. Yep, wide open, juicy targets. Uh, the Rorari are coming this way. I'm actually okay. Even just one pike unit, one pike unit defending against the Rorari is, is plenty. Okay, come on. Why are these guys taking their sweet time? One of our units has used all its ammunition. You see, that's the other Agrionian. Yep, okay. Where are... Where are these guys? Okay, that's these ones. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's bologna sandwiches there. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Why these guys aren't charging, charging. Go ahead and move these guys up. We're gonna bring our Agrionians back. We're gonna try to go for a little flank mission here. Let's get a flank around. All right, let's take uh, let's take Alexander. Go ahead and give him a nice little peachy piece here. And then now, as soon as we, yep, we've got we've got these guys mopped up. Let's kill these Velites. Don't know why they're taking nearly as long as they are there. Let's go ahead. Bring... Flee the field of battle. I don't know which men this are fleeing the field of battle. Oh, oh, one of our pike units. It's okay. One of our levy pikes did their did what they uh, did what they needed to do, and now we are absolutely going to ram the behinds. We're gonna ram the behinds of the triari, and they are Dunzo Lorenzo. You love to see this. You love to see this. And we are absolutely going to run down. You you think we're not going to run down these folks? We are. So let's go ahead. Turn all the missile units off. Fire at will. But we have plenty. That's what you want to hear. Let's kill all these guys. The mercenaries. Everybody. No one's missing out. No one. Everybody can catch this smoke. We're going to go ahead and fast forward a little bit. In here, like I said, you know, just letting uh, let everything letting everything play out here. Try to get these guys as far away as possible first, and then we can get any of the stragglers. You love to see this. You love to see that Histadi have no idea what they're doing, and uh, just get absolutely pwned, noobs. Yes, uh, increases the battle cap. Like while we're running these guys down, I I'm not sure. Since they're a fleet, they might have all perished anyways. But I really don't want these guys to. They're not a fleet. Sorry. A transport army on ships. I don't know kind of what they would do, but I don't. I really don't want them to get away. Oh shoot, we missed out on these skirmishers. Hopefully, we can get them in time. Yeah, hopefully our guys are. Okay, good. Those guys are gonna get mopped up. 
the stadi over here got mopped up. It's all based, it's all up to Alexander to catch these guys before they cross the line. Ah, uh, they cross the line. Alrighty, well, a decisive victory to begin an episode. Who doesn't love to see that? Look at that, 1,500 kills. If they let some of these guys get away, I'll be pretty upset because, for the most part, we really vanquished this enemy, and it's not like they can get back on their ships. So, kudos to us. I'll give ourselves a little pat on the back. They are going to get away. They're going to get away with these three units, and that's just so frustrating. So, so, so frustrating. Um... We'll have to try to hunt them down eventually. I don't even know. I, I, besides, so what? Careless or not a careless? Uh, Corsica. That's the last. Uh, do, if I recall, is that the last? Um, the last holdout uh, of the Romans, which is good. They hopefully are starting to suffer some attrition because maybe they don't have the food they need to support the armies. That being said, I doubt that's the case. Um, Thank you, Vanetti. I believe that there's probably that was probably a rebellion or something. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and decrease the cost of recruiting horsemen. Who are these? Yeah, okay. Etruscan League rebels. I appreciate the. Uh, I appreciate um, the Vanetti coming on to our land, even though I don't really appreciate that. That's sarcastic. Uh, let's go ahead and um, let's just release the captives. I really, I am a kind ruler, even though Pyrrhus was known for not being a very kind ruler. He, that's what got him in a lot of trouble. When the more you read about Pyrrhus, the more you realize, like, oh man, our guy just couldn't get out of his own way when it came to yeah, he just couldn't get out of his own way when it came to how did he rule his subjects. Uh, he, he was the type of guy that really treated them like, uh, second class, of course, second class citizens, but he treated them like, uh, doo-doo, uh, for, for a, a night, to use a nice word. Uh, we're looking all right down here in Cosentia. I, again, like I mentioned, the big goal over the next few turns is we've kind of wrapped up the Romans. I wouldn't mind Carthage taking over Alalia or Alalia, however you want to say it. We just don't have, we don't have the, I don't know if I really want to be... Dropping, uh, dropping, or like not dropping, but making a making our army sail across. It wouldn't be the end of the world, but I'm okay with Carthage taking that, so that when the time comes, you know, it's an even bigger, badder battle. We're gonna upgrade the Rome. We're gonna upgrade Rome. Uh, really want to see that settlement flourish. So now, as our economy is looking pretty tight, uh, pretty good with the three thousand, you know, pulling in more than three thousand gold a turn. You love to see that. Uh, don't think we're missing anybody to trade with. Um, I, again, I don't, I, I don't know how much longer Macedon is going to be able to be free of these, uh, of these kingdoms, but I wouldn't mind. And I saw you guys, some of the people in the comments have talked about going to war with them and it would actually be kind of cool. I, I'm, I am not opposed to, uh, getting the hands dirty and kind of doing what Pyrrhus wanted to do all along. Kind of his first skirmishes were all trying there. All these guys were trying to emulate Alexander. And how do you do that? You can, I mean, how do you do that if you're not? in charge of Alexander the Great's homeland. Looking at this army here, it looks like we do need another pikeman, but something that's also intriguing is now we can recruit the Thessalian, the, Jesus, Mitch, the Thessalian Cav. Get, excuse me for my Chicago accent. I've got to pronounce those A's pretty hard. We're going to go ahead. We're going to take another pike unit, kind of represents the Epirate Corps. Love having a couple little mercenaries, especially ones that relate to Italy and Greece. That would have been very on brand with Pyrrhus's army. And then we have some nice other units here. I, I wouldn't be, I, I like having the high Chevron uh, mercenary, uh, or not mercenary, just citizen cav. Wouldn't be the end of the world in my book to maybe grab a couple Thessalian. As you saw, we were really doing some good work with those hammer and anvils and the shot cav is better for that. And you can tell the difference between shot cav and me melee cav by the shot has those three spears in the left here and the melee has the, uh, the sword. We will be incorporating Tarantine cav or Tarantine cav into the army as well. I mean, the whole point of us coming over to Italy was to rescue the Tarantines, uh, down in Southern Italy. And that's the whole point why Pyrrhus went to Italy. Uh, I mean, well, no, the whole point for Pyrrhus to go to Italy was to establish a empire that he thought could then fund his wars of succession in the East. But, uh, instead he found himself in the history books and a very formidable foe that was on the rise in the Romans. Really, really, I mean, that's what's so interesting about this time period and as well as Pyrrhus as a character. 
just uh, someone larger than life that was a great military commander, honestly maybe had some OCD with how much he cared about the, the military aspect of life, and ran into the juggernaut that would become Rome. And hindsight's twenty twenty, so you always love you know, you always love being like, oh man, that was cool. Like they were on they were writing history right then and there. Alrighty, guys. So the something I have neglected to do over the past couple episodes is making sure that our boys here, uh, Yabussi and Co are uh, happy and right now we're in a balanced which is pretty dope we can secure the loyalties but i'm not going to do that instead we are going to oh man i really actually you know what first thing we're going to do here is we're going to get the intimidate with pyrrhus i want i want to have more general abilities so that when we start using him in battle uh you guys can see some fun some fun things you know i would love to have pyrrhus close to the line and then we can use intimidate and fear and have uh, army break but another thing that i do not want to neglect is right here the upgrade for diplomat level two and beyond you get that plus f loyalties from the political parties and that's huge that's huge for us but for right now we're going to go ahead and end out the fear segment here because that'll help you know I, I always and we like to uh we like to write in a little fan fiction that the reason the reason that everybody's afraid of pyrrhus is because of his ugly mug so that is good we haven't fought a battle with him recently so we got to do that um Let's go ahead and drop in. I'm tempted to drop the Sacred Grove, but to tell you the truth, Neapolis kind of works well. We need to make sure we're watching our food. So uh, we're going to go ahead and drop in the Shrine of Poseidon. Uh, I like that for I like that for that building there. Where else? Uh, what else do we kind of need to build here? Wouldn't mind going ahead and getting the army replenishment up, even though I don't think we'll see much more fighting, you know, knock on wood in the Italian peninsula. So we could do something like, uh, I tell you the truth, Neapolis. I would like to do a mil. I'm going to do a military war for Neapolis because if we start a war with Carthage and stuff, I want to be able to build the best ships on the western side of Italy, uh, so we don't have to sail them around. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll probably build. Don't want to do something that uh, gets rid of public order, so we're going to go ahead and build the grain pits. Just to make sure that we are moving along building-wise. Although we could do some stuff in, in Greece. We've kind of really focused on Italy. But I could do some fun stuff. Like I mentioned, the theater over here would be kind of a nice touch in Athens to really uh, replicate what they were going for. It might also not be bad to, to start getting... Some start to like really try to get our wealth from commerce wouldn't be bad, and we already have some commerce here. So, do we do the wealth for commerce there, or do we do the wealth for commerce? Oh, com Jesus, or do we do the wealth for local commerce over here? And it, tell you the truth, Velothri, it looks like we're gonna do it in Velothri. Um, let's go ahead and end. I'm gonna end a couple turns here. Get these guys out of forced march now. No reason. The Romans, uh, if if in the next few turns the Carthaginians don't do anything with Rome, we will go ahead and get over, uh, get one over on the Romans. But for now, we really just need, we really just need to stabilize uh, Italia. Looks like the Romans are regrouping. I'm a okay for the Romans regrouping. I wouldn't mind fighting one last big battle, but for all intents and purposes. We've kind of, uh, we've kind of, you know, neutralized that threat. It does look like, though, the more I'm looking at that, it does seem like the Carthaginians pulling forces back like that means that we'll have, that the Romans are going to go down. The Romans are going to be able to just jump from Corsica right into Sardinia. Alrighty, let's see what else we need to, let's see what else we need to take care of here. Uh, I definitely want to keep the, uh, Want to keep the want to keep this going on the civil recruitment here, and so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and start researching this tree. I, I want to up. We have a lot of trade agreements at the at the moment, so all of these income, you know, plus two percent income tariff income from trade agreements, commerce, all that stuff goes hand in hand. So we're gonna just try to go. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and and we do have a lot of farms too. So the plus two percent from wealth from uh, agriculture is 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 big as well. Uh, Looks like one more turn. So we're going to go ahead. Or no, this is the one where we're going to go ahead and install the military wharf. Might as well get that going. Uh, one of these might as well be the uh, one of these might as well be the grain pits. But what I'm going to do here is let's go ahead and move. Let's go ahead and move Pyrrhus down into. Let's take this spy. I, I, and I, we haven't been I have been neglecting the use of our spy. So we're going to go ahead and let's take a, let's go ahead and. Oh man, what do we want to do with this spy? Let's take her down into. Let's take her 
over to Asia Minor. Then once she gets in the water, well, okay, I think she's in the water now. Let's, uh, let's not, I don't want to see, I don't want to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and get her moving, let's get her moving westward. Take her on a little westward adventure. Mm -mm. Alrighty, looks like we'll end another turn. Pyrrhus' army now has its fifth pikes. These are the guys that will take over, and I mean, if the Carthaginians aren't going to do it, my, we, you know, what is that? The Thanos, the Thanos gif where he, or just the, the meme where he's, fine, I'll do it myself. That's us right now, basically. That's about to be us. Could this also, could we end this episode with raising an army in, Atta in Attica with Yabusi? I think so. It's been too long since we've continued his narrative. And to tell you the truth, he ain't getting any younger. He is not getting any younger. So we'll go ahead and uh, raise his army. Alliance broken between the Odrysians and the Tribali. War declared. Macedonia. Okay, the Balkans are getting crazy. Might as well start recruiting a big boy army over here. Uh... Oh, man. We didn't do that last turn, but if I'm going to start recruiting forces, I would like to have the best barracks available. So we're going to go ahead. We can do both. So let's go ahead. Let's find uh, let's find your bussy. There he is. Reinstate uh, legacy. No, no. We're going to just have to do a regular legacy. Raise an army. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Come on. That was almost bad. Raise an army. Uh, Hellenic Royal Cav. Let's put him in here. Pericles Pride. No, we're going to do this one is also Ver Labussi. Maybe with two R's instead. We we'll go ahead and make it Ver Labussi uh, there. Uh, I do. Uh, we're just going to have him chill for a sec. Because I do want to utilize, if we can utilize our cash elsewhere. It doesn't look like we can. Um, man, why is this province so gosh darn upset? Let's take a look. So they're Latin. It's going down. Okay, cool. Uh, ah, pro it's the provincial instability, which we're, which we're rectifying. So yeah, which the, which we're getting through. It's not the end of the world. All right. So that means we will maybe recruit a couple of units for our, uh, for our young champion over here. And what units do we want to recruit? I eh, might as well throw in one pikeman, one extra calf. You might be screaming. You might be screaming. Made the comments like, "Yo, why are we doing this? Like, you know, your upkeep. You know, the fact that you're having them have some upkeep is not going to do well. Like, yeah, uh, yada yada yada. You could be using that the, the, those few hundred coins to build more buildings during the. And you know, the answer to that is you are absolutely correct. Uh, you're not coming to this place for the most efficiently run campaign. You're coming to this place for a weird mix of. Uh, a treaty between us would please the gods and. No thanks. You're coming to uh, you're coming to this channel for more of like a weird spin on history and a welcoming environment for you to talk about your weird history that's what i'm talking about guys we're talking about this all the time how are all of these kids dying come on look at this look at this i i feel really bad for olympias and his, like both the kids have died come on five and eight how old were the kids when they died zero that makes us both of them were zero okay i mean i guess that does t that does tie this was a good reminder for us to get into the political tree because we should get, uh, how old is Olympias? 26. Let's get her married as well. We have two Olympiases, I know, pretty crazy, right? Um, and then let's take a look at the politics. Let's, dang it, we have to secure the loyalties so that they don't go. We have to secure the loyalties so they're not going crazy. That brings them back, just back to zero. And another thing we might want to do here is let's send this guy, uh, Wait, I send his diplomat, but we could set party. Gravitas. Why would I do that? I don't really care about Gravitas for this. Organize games. No, nah, we could, I, I, again, we can always just secure promotions for them. Like, it would be nice to secure promotion for you, Bussy, because of all this other stuff. It costs a lot, but, I mean, plus six loyalty, that's great. But let's send them on an embassy. Let's send, uh, what's this guy's name? Teleforos. Let's, uh, let's send him to, I want to send him somewhere pretty high green. Send them to Knossos. Maybe they'll give us some. Maybe they'll give us some cash. I don't know if you guys know. One of the things, you know, we they could find a bard. They could do all this other stuff. But they also could bring back some K, some cash, which would be nice. Let's go ahead and get a silver. Uh, uh, Jesus, silver. I wish it was a silver settlement. A civil settlement going there. 
Uh, also, next turn, we'll try to get this town for the uh, olive oil town so we get even more public order. We're just trying to get as much public order bonus as possible here. Uh, and the especially with Neapolis, with the uh, olive oil place, this will give us better income as well. Let's see if I take him out. Okay, we're still we're still positive. Man. That's what I'm talking about. Like Rome is starting Rome is starting to get a pretty big army over there. So I think I'm gonna try to get Pyrrhus. I'm gonna try to get Pyrrhus. How long would it take to get Pyrrhus to land over here? A couple turns? Alright. We're gonna send Pyrrhus out of Italy. We're gonna send him to Corsica when we can get a chance. Hopefully Rome doesn't come attack him. And I made a grave mistake but you know we got it we got to take that risk uh, i'm gonna end a couple more turns to get pyrrhus to the line okay nope nope immediately gonna roll him back i or not immediately gonna roll him back this this actually might work out well because it looks to me like the romans are gonna go down take careless which means we could land pyrrhus and then take careless and then go up into corsica the gods wish it. no we're not gonna do any military access there uh, yeah, we're not going to allow that. I don't want the the Messalians running all over our, uh, our running all over our place. The shield wall is always uh, strong when brothers stand together. Sure, uh, again, I'll secure the northern border. Pretty accurate thing that wouldn't well, I wouldn't mind. Uh, we're in currently in civil civil development. We'll do that. Consequences: increased research. Your diplomat is returned by a famous scholar. Beautiful. All right, good stuff. We'll take that. So we're really churning through the technology now on the on this front, which is you love you love to see that. You love to see that. Um, okay, the Romans are in here. I, I hope they don't. I hope they're not able to see that we're trying to sneak by. You know why are we whispering? I don't know. But uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead. Uh, oh, man. We'll see. We'll see if the Romans attack us at sea. Hopefully they won't do that. Hopefully they'll make their, hopefully they'll make their little run down for Carolus. But excited, excited to. Uh, I am excited actually to land an army there. God, gosh darn it! The, uh, come on, like calm it down. This province ne really needs to calm down. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to upgrade the. Uh, we're gonna try to upgrade the town here as well. Again, I'm, I'm not opposed. It's not like we can't handle uprisings with the, the army that we have with Alexander. And if anything, it gives him a chance to uh, prove himself. But I just don't want to do it. And Yabusi's coming along well. I, I just don't want to have to like continuously deal with that crap. Uh, what's the pu public order looking like here? Punic culture's on the rise. So we do need... We'll just go with the Sacred Grove here to, to really try to get as much Hellenic, Hellenistic influence as possible, although is there something that's better? Oh, the Shrine of Zeus. Uh, let's do the Shrine of Zeus, actually. And that helps economically. I should have... I uh, should have known... Probably needed to do probably needed to do something similar here and or convert one of these buildings to temples. But again, it, it will stable out eventually and of classic eventually. So we're going to go ahead and end another turn. And this is probably the last turn. And again, this is the longest episode we've done in this little series. Uh, and I appreciate. OK, don't know what was happening there. OK, Rome took careless. OK, excellent. Excellent. All right. So we got to be, we're, we're about to try, we're, we're about to maybe have to face two pretty sizable, like I said, would it be an episode of the Epirus campaign if the Spartans didn't ask us to fight the, the, this random ass faction down in Egypt or next to Egypt. Um, long one way, circling back, you know, rewind to the, it'll be precarious to fight on... We're about to take Pyrrhus to a very interesting area. The Oracle of Delphi, plus four public order. That's huge for us. Uh, one eventual, one eventual big target for us is to build the uh, the shrine, uh, or not the shrine, the Oracle of Dodona, actually, in this neck of the woods. Rome gets its population surplus, which is huge for us. But more importantly, we need to get these guys just into a regular stance and get them on land. Can we hire some mercenaries, some spearmen or some cav? Uh, maybe a unit of an extra unit of cav wouldn't be bad just to have. Uh, they're pretty cheap. So we're going to go ahead and just grab an extra unit of cav just to fend off. I, I am a little worried that we're about to get attacked by two armies, but it's mainly Rurari, so I'm not actually that worried. Uh, Rome here. This is the kind of our last little piece. We're actually as much as much as I want to build on the... the uh, 
as much as I want to build the skirmisher field, we are actually going to build the aqueducts. I want the public order in this place to get, I want the growth to continue to build out Rome in the, and other parts of this province, but we really need the public order. So that is going to kind of wrap up the, uh, that's going to wrap up where we're at with the Pyrrhus of Epirus campaign at the moment, really looking forward to us. And we're going to go ahead and build. No, 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 no. Let's go ahead and upgrade the town center in Athens uh, just to help us with the economy. But that's going to be the end of this episode. Appreciate you guys and all the support that you guys have been giving us recently. Most importantly, though, make sure you share any historical things that you're interested in, your favorite siege battle in the comment section below, and stay wise.